Okay guys, so today we're going to discuss uh, how to rekey a puck lock. Um, this is a master brand and we call it a puck lock because it's kind of the shape and size of a, of a hockey puck. So it looks like that. So these are rekeyable if you have the appropriate tools and uh, rekeying kit. So these are the keys that came with the uh, puck lock. You see right now, turns, whole thing pulls out, right? That's how that works. Okay, so to rekey this, you have to have a key that we're going to key it to, which is this one. The customer wanted this key to work it. And I got the uh, pinning kit here, which is a master lock rekeying parts kit. Okay, so first things first, to get this out, right in the back, there's a set screw right there. So you just get the appropriate Allen wrench size, stick it in there until that comes out. Okay. Then, when I turn the key, the whole piece slides out of my hand. Okay. And then you have this little header piece that goes over the Bible. This is called the Bible of the cylinder. And this is the piece that goes right over that when it goes back in. So that's just to keep it in place. So now I have the cylinder, which does not have a um, that head on it anymore. But to get the cylinder out and rekey it, I have to take off this, this back end here. So we're gonna put this on the vise and then hammer this out. Okay, I moved the cylinder up here to the vise so that we can uh, uh, punch this little drive pin out. And I created a gap here on the, uh, the vise so that I can punch the little pin out. So here we go, all I'll do is punch this out. Okay. And grab that pin. And then this back end will come off. I can pull it off and then I can now rekey it. So let's head back to the rekey kit. Okay, so now I've got the cylinder. I've got my follower. Put my follower on the back of the cylinder. And then there's all the old pins. And then I'm just gonna dump out the old pins. Here's the customer's key they wanted to work. I don't know what, what these cuts are, so we're just gonna kind of figure it out. That first one there I'm gonna guess is maybe a three. So let's try that out and see how that works. Put a three in there, and nope, that one's a little high, so I'm going to go down to a two. Let's see here. Flush. So the first one's a two. That first, the second one looks like a it must be a one or a zero because it doesn't look like it's cut at all. So let's put that zero in. Zero is flush also, so we're good on those two. And then it jumps down, probably to maybe a, a four or five. So. Four. We can try five. The goal is to get all the pins flush and smooth so it can turn. Five is flush, so that's good. Then the next one looks like another two. Put the key back in. A little red two pin. And it's always the beveled side down so it can fit in the uh, crevice of the cut of the key. That works also. All right, so after that, it looks like there's another, like a three. So here is a three. Three is a little shallow. It needs to be a little deeper. So I'm going to replace the three with a four. And we are flush again. So one more pin. And the last one is the deepest one of all, which looks like probably a six. And there's seven depths to this, but this one looks like a six. Let's see. Yep, six. So all of them are perfectly flush. So I should be able to put this back in. And then turn the key, works perfectly. Take my follower off and extract the key. And now we have a working cylinder. So now what I have to do is basically put this cap back on and then hammer this little drive pin back in and reassemble the lock. So I can do that later. But uh, after that, you just pop it back in, put the set screw in the back of the puck lock, and that's how you rekey one of these puck locks. So. Pretty simple, just about the same as any other lock, except for you have to use a specific rekeying kit to rekey these because this is a much, they're smaller pins than your standard pins that would fit in a standard house lock or commercial lock. Um, please continue to uh, support our YouTube channel. We are uh, always looking for more subscribers. Uh, if you like the uh, video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you have any suggestions for videos, make a comment and say, hey, I'd like a video on rekeying this lock or I'd like you to discuss whatever it may be. So uh, thank you for supporting us and follow us on social media.